Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be testing out a very quirky Griamore Asterosa Green Gotha and also Lost Fame Meliodas Ambush team. So the strategy that we're going to go for here is to rush Griamore's ult as soon as we possibly can, and then we want to taunt up with... Um, uh, Esterosa as well, so that hopefully the one Escanor goes for Esther, uh, Esther goes down, and then that means that Lost Fame Meliodas can drop down, and we can build up, like, loads of gold cards and just absolutely demolish. So I think this is really, really good draw for what we're trying to do here, man. We got the second Griamore card, so it means we can go for, uh, the stance here, counter pumpkin bombs, and mean that we get rid of that, and then, uh, chuck off a Griamore card and go for Esther's, um, uh, taunt as well, and then hopefully next turn, the one Escanor one-shots my Esther, uh, and then Lost Fane can come down, but he's going all in for an Escanor play first turn, which is really interesting, um, okay, fair enough, right, uh, that still works out really well for us though, so let's go for the Griamore stance card, and let's track off the, uh, explosion as well, and then go for Esther's taunt and counter, because Griamore doesn't actually taunt via his stance, it just increases his, uh, what is it, health-related stats and damage. And then, uh, oh, okay, that's not bad merger for Griamore after as well. But again, Esther dying here is the really, really good thing. So Esther goes down, we've also got, like, uh, the Commandment on Escanor, so he's not too much of a threat this turn as well. And then next turn we go for Griamore's ulti, Lost Vein comes down. Hopefully we get a Lost Vein card instantly, man. That'd be fantastic. Uh, but unfortunately not here. So I think let's go for this. And then I think I'm actually just going to upgrade my Gotha here. And then... Actually, do you want to upgrade just yet? Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to merge this and fire this off for now. We'll save the upgrade for a little bit. But yeah, this puts up the five turn taunt and increases all of our defense related stats by 420%. Having Tarmio as the association means if we take any damage, we get massive healing equal to 150% of our um, uh, defense on Griamore. So like any damage, he should get like fully topped up here. And then we just need to rush the Lost Veins out, which we actually can do next turn if he doesn't pumpkin bombs. <laughs> so yeah, again, I've been like talking like crazy this video, man. But it's a little bit of an elaborate strategy here. Okay, nice, dude. So we heal for about 70,000 there, which is mad. That's some really, really good damage. And then I think if we go for... Um... Oh, actually, we can get both faults here, man. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, cool. So next turn, we probably, unless he's got like a 6-6, six, six, the one Escanor, we probably tank this ultimate here on Grimoire. But we'll, we'll see what happens, because we do have like 60% less defense-related stats. So we're a little bit less tanky. <laughs> but yeah, he's still got to get through the Grimoire, man. It's going to take like absolutely everything to get through Grimoire, I reckon. Okay, nice. We took 45k there. 18k Echo. We patience that card. And then we've got a uh, Tank Deanne card, I think. Okay, so a Taunt on Deanne. And then, <laughs> yeah, we get fully topped up there. <laughs> so, yeah, we are. We're laughing at this point, boys. We don't have any Lost Vein cards in hand, but we do have, I think, like, five stacks or four stacks on Ghost there, which should mean, like, pretty much guaranteed crits there. Uh, so, yeah, I think, I think we just go for this play, man. Let's chuck off uh, pumpkin bombs as well. Might as well, just for a bit of safety. But I think the Lost Vein ult should wipe at this point. Oh, close, man. Again, we had no cards in hand, so it's a bit unfortunate there. Ah, uh, but it <laughs> actually works. So I'm very, very happy to see that. But anyway, let's see if we can find some more Escanors to bully. All right, now next up, we got Standard Gluey to here. Okay, definitely a player as well. Hopefully, he doesn't have a second Escanor card or upgrade. <laughs> But let, let's see what we're dealing with here, man. Okay, so we're having... I assume upgrade, maybe pumpkin bombs? But I'm curious to see what he's going to go for. We don't have the uh, additional Griamore draw here. Uh, it looks like he's really committing to Escanor. Okay. 
Who's he going in for? Esther? Please, Esther. Okay, that's really, really good news. Okay, nice. And also the fact, again, Esther's commandment slows down Escanor a little bit at the start of the match, unless he just has a gold card and just one-bangs any of my characters, man. <laughs> oh, no. That's kind of bad news as well. Uh, I think we should be fine regardless. I think he can get Esther down next turn. But we should be good. Let's see what happens here. I don't think he's got any chance of getting Grimoire down, especially with the attack-related stats reduction. He's just going to have a very difficult time landing a critical hit. Okay, so he's going for a Liz play. He's going to shield, and then... Has he got an Escanor card as well? I think he's just moving around the Escanor cards to get um, her ultimate there. So yeah, I think we'll go for this, and... Um, then I think it makes sense to actually upgrade Gotha and then go for the big upgrade as well, just so we can 100% guarantee that we can successfully tank this ultimate, even if it is like 5-6, six, 6-6. Six, six. So yeah, th this should pass in a really solid spot. And also with the additional defense as well, we should be able to, um, uh, what is it, heal up after this. And then I can put the taunt up on Esther when I don't need to worry about... Because <laughs> I didn't want to put the taunt up on Esther if he was going to, like, ult Esther and crit Esther and then, like, one-shot my Gotha. Okay, come on, man. Oh, that is a big ultimate. I think that's 4656. Is Grimoire going to be alive? I think so, right? Oh, my God, dude. And we just ping back up to... um. 90% there, so that is really, really nice. But let's go for this. We'll put up the counter as well as a bit of bait there. And also just go for the uh, the golden pumpkin bombs roll back as well. Maybe I should have saved that for uh, another turn, but I think we should be all right. Okay, nice. So I don't think that actually kills anybody here. But again, puts everybody in a good position where uh, Gotha uh, should go down fairly easily once Lost Fane drops. And also, we literally draw a handful of cards, um, aside from one Grimoire card that we'll have merged in hand. Oh no, dude. He cancelled the stance? Why, <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, uh, fair enough, I guess. Uh, I, I think, you know, we can still, like, clean up with Esther here anyway, man. So it really isn't, like, too much of a problem in this match. So yeah, I think we're chilling for the most part. Um, yeah, I think if we just go for all three of these, man, this should kill Escanor. Um, and the bronze should take care of the other two. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that worked out really, really nicely. <laughs> oh my god, that was a great match, bro. That was really, really nice. So we didn't even need uh, Lost Vane in that match. But I was kind of hoping that Lost Vane would... Um, uh, what does it come down so we can have a, a little bit of fun with that? But we've got Esteros's ult as uh, insurance here. We got the four patients on Grimoire. Um, and I think we can probably go for. He's got like Esther's commandment now, so he shouldn't be able to hit too hard on anything. So if we just go for these two cards, we should we should be good. I don't want to use the um ultimate until I kinda need it. I think next turn, if we can, let's try and rush Gotha's ultimate. Just so we have, like, the security of having, like, Gotha's drain at any point. I think that would be, um, beneficial. So, yeah, let's let's go for that. And also just pump your bombs again to roll back. I think he's maybe waiting on the cards. Um, to not trigger Esther's commandment again. So he can get a bit of a bigger turn. Okay, right, he's trying to go in for the Gotha there. Uh, and there we go! <laughs> Opponent has forfeited the match. But dude, that was an amazing match. But let's see if we can find another victim. Alright, so we just had Skip Ed, two Sariel players in a bot match here. Uh, there's no Gotha, there is Lost Fame Meliodas, and that is a little bit of a problem. Um, however, why are we going first, dude? Is this person running evasion food? I would assume so. So yeah, based on that assumption that they are a player, yeah, because there is a little bit of a delay here. I'm pretty sure, actually, might be alt food here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to assume it's alt food, and let's go for this, this, and um, pumpkin bombs as well. Let's roll back. 
without go through it definitely limits the damage of Lost Vein. Oh, dude, that's really, really annoying, bro. Griamor never crits, man. I can't believe he just upgraded that Lost Vein. I thought the chance of Griamor critting there was like pretty much zero, man. So it's like, ah, we'll chuck it off. But yeah, he, he finally got a crit against Lost Vein. Especially like first turn as well without the Gotha stacks. I just wasn't anticipating that. But he does uh, take Esteros' commandment here. So this is good news for slowing down um, the Lost Vein a bit. And he's going all in for Esther, which is great news for our strategy here. So let's go in for um, this again. Hopefully he doesn't upgrade. I, I think it doesn't really matter too much if it does upgrade anyway. And let's go for upgrade on Gotha and Golden Pumpkin Bombs as well. I was tempted to put the Torn up on Esther, but I think we should be fine. And also with the attack related stats reduction now on, um, uh, what is it, Gotha? Oh, we still got the upgrade on Lost Vein there, man. <laughs> Slightly unfortunate. I thought we weren't going to crit. Because when you do like, uh, what is it, upgrade Pumpkin Bombs to Glox's Commandment, you rarely crit with Gotha's Pumpkin Bombs. But I guess the, um, uh, the passive has gone up one turn, so we've got a bit more crit chance there. And Lost Vein is very easy to crit against. Right, so he's taking it, taking Esther down. This is amazing news for us. Because then... Griamor, we, we should be able to bounce back quite nicely from Tarmiel's Grace. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, oh, dude, can we go straight into Lost Vein's? Oh, oh my god, we can't. We totally can, right? That That's crazy, man. That's just way too much. Um... Yeah, what a top deck, man. That's that's pretty ridiculous. I think we get into Liz here. So yeah, if we like uh, go through ult and then Lost Vein ult next turn, <laughs> we are going to be in such a strong position. I'm pretty sure everybody dies easily apart from Liz. Liz might die from like a follow up pumpkin bombs. We actually don't have another Lost Vein card that we've drawn into though. So that's a bit unfortunate here. It might be beneficial to wait one more turn before going for this play if there's no risk of us dying. Because we're going to patience this. Um, there's Drain on Liz as well, so we don't need to worry about uh, her ultimate move. So yeah, I think next turn we're actually just going to like Grimoire Stance. Um, and then let's just go for this and Pumpkin Bombs. And then hopefully next turn we can draw uh, one more Lost Vein card just to make sure that we're in a pretty good position to kill everybody here. Because, yeah, I, th I think there's like zero threat um, of waiting one more turn just to be safe. Right, let's see what he's going to go for here. Again, he's got all, he's got no, like, Gotha upgrades, no Gotha passive. So the best thing you can do is just whack in a bunch of uh, Bronze, Escanor, and... Um, uh, Lost Vein cards, and I'm pretty sure we just patience everything. <laughs> Dude, Griamore actually going, man. It's amazing. Amazing to see, boys. Amazing to see. Okay, let's chuck off uh, Ghost's ulti. Should probably get the Liz down there now that we've got Esther's commandment removed. And yeah, this should finish off the job really nicely. Uh, but yeah, let's let's have a look at the damage. I think we've got five Ghost of Stacks at this point in the match as well, so we should get crit on everybody. So Eskimo's passive goes down a little bit, so it makes him a little bit less tanky. But there we go. Easy wipe, man. Easy wipe. But yeah, that was a, uh, a really, really good match. But anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right. Now, hopefully, we got our final opponent here, man. I've just had Skip Ed, like, three bot matches in a row. But we got a crazy draw here. And also, he doesn't have the lucky Eskinor star. So, yeah, we're in a really, really strong position. Uh, but, yeah, I'm curious to see. He actually might have, like, double upgrade, which is still pretty bad. But, um, oh, he does actually have the second Eskinor card here. Okay, the good thing is the second one is going to be affected by Esther's Commandment, and he's going straight for Esther as well. Uh, hopefully Esther, like, stays alive <laughs> just for this. Okay, nice, bro. That's really, really good news. Because um, Esther, you know, he's just now about to take a hit next turn. So I think let's go for um, this play, this, and... Yeah, Esther Taunt here. Dude, he's getting he's getting pretty lucky with the Esther cards, actually. Sorry, the, the Eskinor cards. If 
that, if he's got like another upgrade as well for that, that could be very bad news next turn. But he still has like Esther's Commandment, so we'll see what happens. But might end up with a big dent in my Gotha here, or Greenmore. But Greenmore should be able to get it back fairly easily with the other uh, Tommy L Association. And when Esther dies, we draw one card here. We've got a lot of Gotha cards, which is pretty good for ult control on, uh, what is it, his Gotha and Liz. But he's, he's rushing um, Eskinor's ult here. A little bit interesting. I thought he'd just, like, send it and kill um, uh, Esther here. So, yeah, a bit unexpected with that play, I must admit. Uh, right, let's go for um, the ulti here. I think he's lining up uh, another play. So, I'm going to go for this just to buy me a bit more time after. Should be in a good spot here. Hmm. I think there's a pretty good chance we tank this. Depends on the level and depends whether or not he has a stance cancel. <laughs> Even if he has the ca cancel via Liz, I don't think he's got any like big... Actually, he does have a silver Escanor card. So yeah, he's got cancel, ultimate, and then silver. It's definitely going to hurt a bit, but depends on the level of the ult. Let's have a look. This is peak Escanor as well. Oh, 49k. And how much is the Echo there? 20k. Okay, I think that's a 3-6. Okay, nice, bro. We chilling. Let's have a look at that healer next turn as well, dude. Griamore is back up to full health. Amazing. So now we can go for this play where we fire off Estazol and then upgrade on Gotha. And then we're going to go for Pumpkin Bombs just to have the, um, uh, the massive rollback here. To be fair, we could have, like, just moved around those pumpkin bombs and held on to them. Yeah, I don't know if that would have been actually a little bit better. But now we are we are in a pretty good position still. I don't know if we just want to hold on to Gotha's ulti until we're ready to, um, like, line up a game-winning play here. Oh, we actually... S oh, no, dude, he used the Gotha card. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, we we got the play now, I think. Um, so, yeah, that, that was a bit of an F, bro. But let's go for Gotha's ultimate. Should kill somebody. An opponent has forfeited the match. Oh, uh, well, um, <laughs> Esther catching somebody out there. But anyway, I'm hungry for one more match. So let's see if we can find one final victim. All right, hopefully we got our final boss set. Okay, dude, this big boy, man, he's got 150k. Uh, we don't have the lucky start on Griamore here. And he doesn't have the super lucky start on Escanor, so that's good news. But he's going for a upgrade on Escanor. Oh, actually, no upgrade on Liz there. He's going to stun on Esther. Interesting. Okay, a little, little bit of an unexpected start. I, I guess I kind of get the play. But yeah, not upgrading Escanor, man. That's costing him a lot of damage here. So then we move this. Let's go for the stance and let's fire off the um, uh, explosion there. And then we'll see what happens next turn and what he has access to. I think if he's very lucky, my Grimoire is wide open. And he could, like, merge a flood card and go for an upgrade. But it also depends on his game plan here. So it's a Gotha card initially, then a Liz card. Okay, a bit unexpected. So going for a big shield here, maybe? Okay, so he's still stunning the Esther here. And then going for the, the big shield. Okay, so that's a golden shield. But let's put up the uh, the Torn on Griamore. And then I think we um, just go for this play. And I think I'm going to upgrade go through as well. I want those, those golden pumpkin bombs in hand. And I'm going to taunt on Esther. Uh, am I stunned for two turns? No, I'm only stunned for one. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think next turn he could get, like, Liz and Gotha's ult here. I think that's a pretty good chance. This man is not going for the Escanor plays, though. He's, he's got to start building up to them at, <laughs> at some point. Uh. The, these games are, like, very interesting, man, because they can go in so many different directions when you take away the usual strategy that Escanor does go for. Okay, nice. So, yeah. Oh, God, this is going to be magical. 
so yeah we just we just fully heal up there man fantastic um I think we'll slap in actually let's slap into Liz and just take her ultimate off the table I think and I think we'll go for the the smaller one here I'm thinking, like, we're not breaking a gold shield on everybody. If we're lucky, we can do it on one character. So let's get away, like, Liz's heal, man, because that could be a bit annoying. But, yeah, this this is going to be a very interesting match. I also need to uh, remember to build up to Grimoire's uh, taunt uh, every four turns as well. So we need to keep that in mind. Okay, Esther, dude, can he kill him with Escanor now? Oh, he's not going for it, dude. Okay, he's going for another shield this time. Fair enough. But now, I think... Um, what play do we want to go for here? To meet my ideal win condition, I do need that... Uh, I need Esther to die, bro. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit annoying. Okay, let's go for this. And I think golden pumpkin bombs. We should be able to break here. Come on, man. We do have Esther's commandment. Weighing down, I'll go through a little bit. Perfect, dude. Okay, that is amazing. We got the alt gauge fully controlled now. So we can focus on getting uh, Grimoire's ult. And also focus on... Um, uh, what is it? Esther dying here? So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what he goes for now. This man is a huge fan of those Goddess Liz cards, though. Thoroughly enjoying them. So that's just going to patience. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, I mean, that also feels really, really good to see, man. I love seeing... Um, what is it? Liz stuns just uh, be absolutely useless. It's uh, incredibly satisfying. I think we'll go for additional stance on Greenmore. Actually, I don't think so. I think we'll just go for stance on Esther here. Save the upgrade for next turn. And I'm just going to slap into uh, Liz, I think. Did a lot of bit of damage to her. And then I'm hoping, really hoping, he's just going to go for the send and get Esther down next turn. That's <laughs> what I want, dude. I just want Esther off the playing field now, so I don't need to worry about that commandment myself. And then we can start getting the Lost Vein cards and just go crazy. But yeah, this is the, the perfect timing for Grimoire. Um... Why would you remove that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get what this man is trying to achieve in this matchup. I'm so confused. This is a million billion percent of player as well, man. Um, uh, ten, ten IQ, five head strats right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm just bewildered, man. Just bewildered. <laughs> But let's get the, the Golden Pumpkin Bombs back up. So, just keeps uh, Liz and Gother in check at this point in the game as well. Even if um, Escanor does get ult, we should be fine to tank it. So yeah, we're not really in any, tr <laughs> any trouble here. Okay, is he finally going for Escanor's ult, dude? Hey, look at, look at this man go. I think so. Okay, so we get a fantastic patience there, which is great. We get 10k damage, which is then immediately healed up next turn. We can also, like, stall it out a little bit here if we want. He is at the peak of his passive, so yeah. Um, actually, no, we do have to take um, take the ult next turn. So I think we'll just go for the stance here and then smack him with uh, Esther on Liz. And that should get Liz down, but then she... Um, has the revive. He's he's good gaming me here, dude. Is it good game? De depends how whaley he is, bro. If you got that six six Escanor, I we might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm I'm interested though. I'm very interested to see how this is gonna turn out. 
Come on, Griamore, you got this. Okay, he's not using the stance removal. This seems like Griamore has about 120k, I think. So yeah, we <laughs> we chilling at this point, man. Okay, nice. Well, fantastic. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure like d diminishing returns is gonna kick in any turn now, man. It's got to be really, really soon. And I think here, let's just uh, rush Ghost of Zolti. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Because then we can 100% get Liz down next turn. Like, there's no point of me stalling out with Vesta's ult there. Because he was unlikely to play into it. Um, so, yeah, this just guarantees that we've got, like, potentially a game-winning play. But I also need to uh, look at getting Griamore's ult back up as well very soon. So, yeah, maybe we actually stall out next turn. And just wait for a little bit. Oh, no, he's going for another Escanor ult here. <laughs> Dude, this is this is the weirdest PvP match I've ever played in the history of the game, man. I I'm impressed by his determination, though. I must admit, uh, you know, he's definitely uh, definitely not a quitter, and uh, you've got, you've got to respect that sometimes, man. So yeah, I think we fire this off here. Because now I've only got um, one turn left on it. Or it actually might expire next turn, but we can like cover the the down period with um, Asteros' ult. So we should be alright. Okay, the PvP like <laughs> decay is starting to kick in now. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to make it a weird match, bro. It's going to be a very weird match from now on. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, though. I, th I think we got most of the plays lined up. Because, yeah, next turn we can just go for um, this. I think we just drain next turn as well, actually, instead of Esther stalling. <laughs> I'm impressed that he's, he's still trying to get through uh, the Griabor there. Um, actually, I think we go for both, right? Yeah, I think it makes sense too. Just because I got no Griabor torn up at the moment. So let's just have the uh, Esterosa ult as uh, additional insurance here. And hopefully he misplays into it and then it just wipes the team. That would be great, dude. That would be a really good time. I think there's a pretty good chance as well that it would crit um, Escalon and Gotha at this point. But yeah, we'll see if he's uh, going to play around there or move cards. Okay, move. And then move again. Okay, th this man knows what he's doing when it comes to Esther's ult here. So let's go for this and then... Um, I think we Pumpkin Bombs just to make sure Lost Vein doesn't go out of control. And then smack off this Esther card on Escanor. Because, yeah, Lost Vein isn't too much of a problem. I guess he can be. Um, actually, no, he's not too much hassle with, like, Esther's Commandment. Because that, like, uh, greatly reduces his damage output. But I need to get that go throughout the picture, man. Like, that Gotha's passive is the uh, potentially uh, very dangerous thing at this point. And Lost Vein's ult. Oh, okay. We are, we're getting sent into there, bro. That was that was a little bit of damage, bro. A little bit of damage. I think my Gotha's likely to um, die next turn. <laughs> we, sh we should be all right, though. We should be all right. This, this gets Gotha down. And if it comes to, like, a... Uh, Not too sure what it's going to come to in this match. It could come to like a Griamore and Lost Vein versus just Lost Vein. But we should be okay. Depending on like um <laughs> the draw. Because yeah, I think I think Gotha and Esther go down here, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Again, this has been the weirdest PvP match. Uh but it's it's also been pretty damn interesting. Okay, dude, we got all of the Griamore cards here, man. So, uh, I think let's go for, um, a bit curious about this one. I think this and this card as well is the best way to go here. 
Oh, actually, maybe I should have used double loss vein cards. I think we'll be fine regardless, because next turn we can just uh, use this. And it's likely that he's going to cleave me next turn, and it's just going to be upgraded. Um, oh, yeah, that's perfect, dude. That's a really nice additional draw. My mind is a little bit melted after that match. <laughs> Green and matches are so freaking weird, dude. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's Green and and Lost Vein PvP video. And if you did, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.